If you don't have a solid Fenrir fleet or aren't having too much luck with it, there is a good chance that your Dagger Spine fleet is the way to go. Hey everyone, Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. Just to get started here, I do have a few ships at X1 because this was last raid's fleet, and the really only the important one to be upgraded is the flagship, which also needs to be high evade. I will show the build for that at the end of the video, of course, as always. The path and techniques I'm showing you here work regardless if your other ships are U0, U1, U2, whatever they are. Really, the important one is the flagship, and you really want high evade on that. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to scrap my ships and rebuild them, so I can't show you what a U0 fleet does. I can just show you what the one I have does. Take the techniques, use the strategies here. They work regardless of the upgrade level. Make sure you're using a Sea Serpent screw for high evade. Now, if you do this target right, the only thing which should take any damage is the flagship, and the only place you should take damage from is this radioactive turret which is shooting at me right now. You want to get those killed as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, this target is pretty hard because they hid those behind the one I just outranged to kill that, the Gatling gun, and then they also have these radioactive turrets located right next to the ones, the blunderbusses, that you need to stay moving against. So right here, I'm going to stay moving against this radioactive turret here. I'm going to have to do a few passes because these other ones which are right next to it, I need to stay moving for. This is not ideal and definitely results in me taking more damage than I generally would want to because I can't stop. With this fleet, stopping does get you an extra bonus, you get your extra shockwave, and can build stacks much, much more quickly here if you stop. Unfortunately, that's not possible because these blunderbuss turrets are something you need to stay moving against. But luckily, the blunderbuss does no damage to you, which is the saving grace of this target. So I'm just going to continually stay moving against these blunderbuss and also these long-range blue guns you're seeing, which are shooting at me. That's really what you want to do. Against these Gatling guns, you can just stop and outrange those, which I'm going to do right here. As soon as I fire, I'm going to stop, and then as soon as this Gatling gun is dead, I may be a little bit too early there, took one shot I shouldn't have, you move towards the radioactive turret and get that guy down. Now for the throwers, they are relatively straightforward, just try and outrange them, come in at a place different than the arc. The mountains here do help out sometimes and are going to be blocking the ballistas in the center of the target pretty well in most cases. Cross the bottom of the target, stay at maximum range here because there is this launcher that's going to shoot at you. You don't want to come in and get him just yet. He again is going to do a bit of damage to you. Radioactive turret, stop and shoot at that, kill it really quickly. Once it's dead, you can outrange the Gatling gun a little bit more closely here. As soon as that guy's down, continue going around the outside of the target. Now this target may look intimidating, it may look really hard, and in some cases it is a little tricky, but actually, once you kill these things on the outside, you can just move around in big circles in the center of the target and you'll be fine. Radioactive turret, shift click on that on the Flagiston and stay moving across the outside. Once you kill the blunderbuss on the far side, you can loop back, and if you get lucky, you kill the Flagiston in the first place. Gatling gun, gun turret, again stop and shoot at that guy as soon as he is down, maybe a second before you move forward, get the radioactive turret, and then stop. Let's go ahead and duck in here a little bit to grab the short range firing arc turrets, heavy turrets right there. Grab the first one, you are going to have some ballistas which start shooting at you. Don't worry about too much about those ones. You can park right behind mountains like right here. Even if these guys were to come out and shoot me, which they should pretty soon here, they're not going to actually do any damage to me. Now at this point, we're done with the outside of the target. Let's go ahead and duck inside, grab a few things there, and again, make sure we're not taking any damage we shouldn't need to from any of these radioactive targets. Now Ballista shooting at me, I'm going to hide behind the mountain, so I'm perfectly fine because I'm real far away, and we are going to have to go in a little bit of a different angle just to get this last radioactive guy. I don't want to take any damages from him that I don't need to outside, and he's down. Now with the target right here in the center, you want to shift click the Flagiston turrets. I'm going to do a little bit of playing around with the down button when I can. Right now is a good chance, just so I can stop and shoot at him and get him down in one volley. Your second priority should actually be this big fire spewing launcher in the middle of the turret, because middle of the target here, cluster, because he actually is going to spit out these fire fields, which you have to manually dodge around. It is pretty annoying, so I like to kill him get him down pretty quickly. There's also a slow field which you can remove by killing the uh, thrower rods or whatever kick size name for those was. 
that will result in you taking you know a little bit more damage potentially from the fire things that come out there because they are spewing around the target here but if you kill this guy right here that slow field goes away and the fire thing spits out a little bit more damage a few more of those more of those things radioactive turrets you can or throwers ignore them for now click on the radioactive move really close stop so you have more damage against him and that should die within one volley here if you can engage it directly now you're noticing again a bunch of mortars from my from my flagship those don't do any damage those are just here to help out to increase the combat speed because i have a bunch of evade specials on my flagship the build is something i've previously had you can sort of pull it up on youtube you'll find it pretty easily here again Target the radioactive phlogiston launcher if you at all can, that one first, and get out of the way. Grab the fire spewing one second, that should go down within one shot or so, but I'm going to shift over to the phlogiston here because, again, it's the one that's actually doing damage. The other is just a random chance to hit you or not. I really don't like those cheese balls. I find them to be quite annoying in the target. Continue circling around here, grab that radioactive one, and the target should, at this point, be done damaging you. You'll also notice that I took... Almost all, 99% of the damage in this target is on the flagship. That's because all these radioactive turrets, which again is the only thing damaging you, has King Killer. King Killer shoots at the ship with higher armor points. In this case, that's the flagship. It has higher base armor points on the hull. So just be aware of that there. It has higher armor points. It's going to get hit first. Everything hitting it is accuracy-based, so you can jack up the evade really, really, really high, which you definitely should. Put on evade upgrade, lowered cannon mount, all the stuff you can put on here. If you want to, to increase its evade, so you reduce your damage taken. I'm even using a Sea Serpent screw and probably have a little bit of an alliance bonus. There's the target. Let's go ahead and, tech and, go ahead and check in on the damage and the battle report. Now, this is a longer target to kill than maybe the 100 or 101. As you noticed, only radioactive damage taken, didn't get, didn't get hit by those ballistas at all, and took a total of 17% resisted, sort of summing the resisted and taken categories. If we look at the damage taken, this is 8 minutes, which, you know, is not instant map repair. I'm not going to record this. This was the third target of these I've ever hit. And, you know, this is pretty decent repair. Spent three minutes on this. Maybe the back four got hit a little bit with some radioactive. Spent a few seconds on those ones and a minute or two on the flagship. And this gives you a possibility, a method to do the raid if you want to. Again, I have a ship at U3 here. If you would X1, all of the upgrade does not really matter. In fact, I have the regular non-limited weapons on most of this stuff. And the flagship with a ton of evade specials on there. Really just to get that guy up to 89% evade with a sea serpent screw on there. Now this target is just going to give you 250k. For those of you who are using the Fenrir and have everything else stacked up, including the 500, it is not really worth it to hit from a time to kill perspective. But if you're repairing your fleet and want something different, yeah, go ahead, run the 600. You get 250k for that, and then half of the set bonus here of half a million, which you need all four targets for. The other option, if you don't really have your Fenrirs, is just going to be to use these Dagger Spines and auto the 80. I wouldn't bother with the 400, would not bother with driving the 81. I would just auto the 80 a whole bunch, although unfortunately that point payout is just going to be so low, it won't really matter. But I just wanted to get a video of the 500 target, or rather this was the 600, out for you guys so you could see the method and see the path. I also wanted to take this time to remind you guys to subscribe. I don't always post everything, a single video to every Facebook group, and only two-thirds of you, two-thirds of you, in fact, are unsubscribed, so you'll find my videos more often if you click subscribe. With that said, I want to go ahead and say thank you to those whose folks, I really am missing on my outro. I want to go ahead and say thank you to those folks whose names are appearing on screen now, and until next time, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.